News right now. We have been telling you for months about irregularities in the Michael Flynn case. Tonight, Flynn has now formally filed a motion to withdraw his guilty plea, alleging bad faith by prosecutors. Here now to break some news on this, explain what it all means. Michael Flynn's attorney, Sidney Powell, Fox News contributor, Sarah Carter, Fox News legal analyst, Greg Jarrett. Uh, I know at one point, Sidney, before you became General Flynn's lawyer, uh, you had suggested this might come to this. Uh, I'm a little surprised at the judge's Brady ruling in this case. From my understanding, I have a very good mutual friend of ours. I have a long list of Brady material that wasn't handed over, in my view, my opinion. But here's the thing. We know that the special counsel, we know the inspector general, found that James Comey lacked candor. That would be lying. We know the same thing was said about Andrew McCabe. Uh, we know the FBI that interviewed General Flynn didn't think he was lying. They said that. I'd like to see the original 302. I'm sure you would. So oh, question, yes. Will you be able to withdraw this plea? And I applaud you for doing it. What they have done to this 33-year veteran is a, a obnoxious, repulsive, unbelievable abuse of power. It is, and they've been abusing their power for the last year in spades, Sean. They, the reason this all came to this is because they tried to get him to lie in the prosecution of the United States versus Rafiki and his former business partner. And with new counsel standing by his side, of course, there was no way I was going to let him do that, and he didn't want to do that. So we pushed back on that with evidence that we presented to them for hours, showing them all kinds of different things that supported the fact that he was telling the truth. And instead, they doubled down, came against him, tried to designate him a co-conspirator, even though he had, they had told the judge in the Eastern District that he was not. They never thought he was. I mean, it's just been one atrocity after the other. And then their recent sentencing memo is just full of lies and distortions. So uh, they breached the plea agreement when they tried to withdraw their motion to recommend that he was going to be given probation and want him sent to prison. And now they prison. changed it. Yeah. yeah. Now, am, am I wrong in my perception? I'm not in the courtroom, so I have to ask you and rely on your interpretation. I almost got the impression the judge, in this case, was basically saying to you, without being saying it, Sidney, withdraw the plea. Does he have to approve this, or did you get that same uh, impression from the judge? Oh, it, it could go either way. Um, he certainly has a discretion as to whether to allow the withdrawal of the plea, but we're more than convinced we meet all the tests, no matter which way you look at it. And this is just the first part of the motion on that. This portion, portion of the motion is based on the breach of the plea agreement. There are a lot of other reasons that we'll brief as soon as we possibly can. All right. Let me. One of the more despicable things in all of this, Sarah Carter, is <laughs> here you have General Flynn calls over to the Deputy FBI Director McCabe, says, These guys are coming to see me from your department. Do I need my lawyer? Oh, no, you don't. Then the infamous tape of James Comey bragging how he did something he would never do in the Bush or Obama administrations, and he took advantage of the chaos, something he likely wouldn't get away with. Um, how insulting to a 33-year vet who went bankrupt uh, and they threatened his own kid. Oh, well, if you don't, if you don't sign this, even though we didn't think you were lying, we're going to go after your family. What father, especially, what general wouldn't fall on the sword for their own son? I would. I'd dive on it. And, and General Flynn would, too. I mean, this is the kind of he man did. that General Flynn, Lieutenant General Flynn, uh, Sean, I knew this from being on the ground in Afghanistan, working in Iraq, covering these stories. Here was a man that everyone that I spoke to, every soldier that knew him, every senior official in Iraq that worked with him in Afghanistan that was close to him knew who this man was. He was a true patriot. He loved the soldiers. He did everything he could to fight for the truth. He went up against President Obama because he believed that the narrative that Obama was telling the American people was false. And it was false. But because of that, he drew in a slew of enemies. We heard Comey laughing at him. And that's exactly what I was thinking as you were saying that, Sean. I was like, all you have to do is listen to how former director...
fired FBI Director James Comey, laughed about how they took advantage of this administration. And one more point here, Sean. Look at what the FBI did. We know now, based on the Horowitz report, all of these egregious violations, how they changed the FISA, and what. And now we suspect and we know that there were alterations in his 302. Yeah, by the way, so, where's Christopher Ray? And excuse me, the story you broke last night, really? Can we pick a worse person to, to, to oversee this? <laughs> <laughs> let, let me go right. to Greg Jarrett. We're only running out of time, Greg. I want to get your thoughts. I applaud Sydney for withdrawing the plea. What they did to this 33-year vet, combat veteran of the United States of America is, is so repulsive and disgusting. And the guys themselves that did it and set him up, yeah, they lied too. Nothing happens to them. Really sad. Robert Mueller's team of partisans prosecuted Michael Flynn for telling the truth. There is a FBI summary report dated July of 2017 summarizing the two FBI agents who interviewed Michael Flynn. And in it, they say he showed no signs of deception and they believed he was telling the truth and he believed he was telling the truth. It and is he outrageous. fell on his sword and admitted to something he knew he didn't do. Right. Why? To save his family and, and to because stop the he bankruptcy. was broke. That's right. It, it's outrageous he was ever prosecuted in, in, in good conscience and in the name of justice and the law. Emmett Sullivan, the judge, should allow Flynn to withdraw his plea. And I guarantee you, if prosecutors pursue the case against him, there is no way they can win because the two guys who interviewed Flynn said he told the truth. End of case. I hope the judge does the right thing. Sydney, you're the right lawyer. I know it's been tough. Godspeed. Thank you. Oh, both. thanks. Thank you. We're going to fight to the end. We, he deserves that. He fought for us for 33 years.